Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to London. I fancy beans on toast. When you've got a craving for something, nothing else will do. So that's what we're doing today. Now, it's eight o'clock in the morning, breakfast time. Beans on toast, perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, luckily. Because the reality is, by the time I've got the ingredients to make these homemade beans on toast, it'll be nearer lunch time than breakfast time. And also, the place I'm going to get the ingredients for my homemade beans on toast are phenomenal spots to pick up snacks. Perfect for breakfast, so it'd be silly not to. I'm gonna head up to Soho. First of all, I need some coffee. I'm gonna head up to Soho. First of all, to the bakers. So while we're there, we can get some coffee. There's an amazing bakers, and they do snacks perfect for breakfast. Then, I need to head to a butcher's. There's a great butcher's on Marlebone High Street, so we can head from Soho to Marlebone. Then I'll need the ingredients, the rest of the ingredients for my beans on toast. So we can head to the grocers on Piccadilly. And then whatever they don't have, we can get from the supermarket on Haymarket behind the grocers. There's a storm coming, it's super windy already. So I need to get this done and get home before the weather changes for the worst. So let's head up to Soho, get some coffee, wait for the bakers to open, while I'm getting some coffee, I'll share with you the recipe I'm going to use for my homemade beans. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London. Welcome to my home. This morning I woke up and I fancied beans on toast for breakfast. Homemade beans on toast. So, I found a recipe in a recipe book. Marcus Waring's Nutmeg and Custard. There's a recipe in here for smoky baked beans on toast. I've made some changes, not changes, improvements. I don't like some of the things in there. So if you don't like some of the things in my version, make some improvements of your own. So I've gone out this morning to find the ingredients. Went to Soho for coffee first of all, to study the recipe. Then Marlebone, Marlebone High Street, pick up some bacon, phenomenal bacon from the ginger pig butchers. Then back to Soho for some bread from the baker's bread ahead. I do phenomenal sourdough. Good morning. So, Marlebone High Street first, the butchers, then we'll come back here and get the bread. Bread Ahead have a bakery and a bakery school and a market stall over at London's Borough Market and they're renowned here in London for their donuts. Okay, success. Sourdough from Bread Ahead. London's really quiet this morning. Then to the grocers, for the masons, get some of the other ingredients. Got some, uh, hopefully, delicious butter and to the supermarket behind Fordham and Mason's to pick up all the rest of the ingredients. So admittedly by the time I've done all this it's now beyond lunchtime. So without any further delays let's get cooking and I'll share with you my smoky beans on toast. So we're using a recipe from this book, Nutmeg and Custard by Marcus Waring. It's not a new book, it's over 10 years old now, but it's aged well. There's some amazing recipes in here and some very interesting ideas for popcorn. The recipe suggests the following ingredients. 100 grams of smoked bacon diced into small pieces, one medium onion peeled and diced, two cloves of garlic peeled and crushed, a quarter bunch of thyme, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one 400 gram tin of white beans, one 400 gram tin of red kidney beans, one tablespoon of soft brown sugar, one tablespoon of black treacle, one tablespoon of tomato puree, 125 grams of tomato passata, and a quarter tablespoon of table salt, and some coarsely ground fresh pepper. I'm using the white beans I'm not adding the kidney beans and I'm not adding the thyme, but you can follow the recipe or make it your own too. There are just three simple steps in the book to making this dish. 
Step 1. Put the bacon into a large saucepan over a moderate heat and allow the fat to render and the bacon to cook. Step 2. Add the onion, garlic, thyme and paprika and cook until golden. Add the remaining ingredients and simmer gently for 10 minutes. Step 3. Turn off the heat. Cover and allow to sit for a couple of hours for the flavour to develop before serving. Remove the thyme and heat thoroughly until simmering. The recipe suggests both white beans and kidney beans, but I'm just using white beans, similar to the ones Mr. Hines uses in his beans. So I managed to find a pot of black treacle, and this stuff is the consistency of tar, only stickier. I think when I'm done here, I'll use the rest of the pot to repair my roof. Okay, all that's left to go in is the tomato puree and the tomato passata, then season with a little salt and pepper and simmer for a couple of hours until cooked. Then maybe sample some of the sourdough toast and fancy butter from Fortnum and Mason's while we wait for this to cook. So one of the key ingredients to beans on toast is obviously toast. As we're going to so much effort to make the beans, I thought I'd get some phenomenal bread from one of London's best bakers, Bread Ahead. I've got a loaf of sourdough and some fancy French butter from, well, France via Fulton and Mason's on Piccadilly. Okay, let's try the bread ahead sourdough and the butter. Mm. The knobbly end, the, uh, the bread's delicious and the butter, super creamy, salty, recommend both. Both delicious. Okay, so the toast is toasted and the beans are cooked. So let's plate this up and try the homemade beans on toast. Okay, they look and smell phenomenal. So let's try the homemade beans on toast. Smoky beans on sourdough toast. That's phenomenal. You've got the, the saltiness and the richness of the bacon, the sweetness of the treacle, combined with the smokiness of the paprika. Mm. 
It's like baked beans in a can turned up to 11. Right, I'm gonna get on with this, demolish this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Toodles. The bread, the sourdough bread from Bread Ahead is delicious. I'm pretty proud of myself.